This is the 3rd of January, 2017. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. Uh, this is the screw department where we are manufacturing screws. Some with conical shapes. That one has an epoxy conical shape. Uh, there's one with a stainless steel conical shape. And um, anyway, this is, we buy these flights that you see here and weld them on the shafts in this department. Yes, I just counted uh, over 30 screw presses. Screw presses are us at Vincent Corporation. This is the test area. And so we have a number of, uh, and it's also the shipping receiving area. There's the screw press pieces, some that are uh, getting ready to go. Um, but anyway, we make screw presses of all sizes, varieties, forms, and shapes. Here's the material we're going to run. This is, uh, these are fleshings. If you don't know what fleshings are, you don't want to know. Uh, this is the press we're going to work it in. Um, it has been especially configured for this test. We're hoping this material, you'll see in a minute, it's long and stringy, will go through the press. The uh, press has a short screen. It has a simple door at the end and you see in here, the screw is an empty shaft, it's nothing to snag in there. There it is going around. And a uh, screen, a wedge wire screen. In the inlet hopper, we just got some welding in a couple of vertical bars. Those work for Tyson on fleshings. See the screw, you'll hear it hitting. That's because we've got a peak point right there and another one right there. Those are uh, Normally, call those uh, Brian strippers, and we hope it will prevent uh, the material from wrapping around the screw. Uh, it's a simple motor gearbox, and uh, I can see we put on a new motor with careful alignment there, and we weld it after we get it aligned. We'll see if this press works. Okay, normally we would expect a lot of water with this to squeeze water out. We're not going to be able to squeeze any liquid out of this. It's tight. But notice that these fleshings are uh, long and stringy. And uh, some of them are pretty big chunks of um, fleshing. Some over here, maybe I can find something small and put it in the screw press. This stuff ought to go through. Uh, okay. Anyway, we have everybody out here uh, seeing this show. We've separated a bucket of uh, fairly small stuff. Go ahead and feed that in, Bill. Let's see how it feeds. Fast or Dump it in. We'll see if it takes the whole thing. Okay, good enough. Let's see what happens down here. It's feeding pretty well. It's uh Oh, look at that. We're getting stuff out. We're pressing. A little more weight. We'll get more out. You can feed the dump the rest of the bucket in there, Bill. So that fed through rapidly and uh uniformly. Notice it's it's stripping, it's uh going ahead it, it go it keeps moving and here it's coming out we're putting some more weights on this this press comes with uh, weights no, it's coming out it's okay nice now throw in some bits the rest of it just yeah grab some hand <laughs> okay dump that back in there why does she not why does she not think I, I'm serious Out the barn, right? Okay, so we're, of course there's no no liquid in this to be separated. I assume this is not representative, but uh, we are squeezing this material, and it goes through fast. It's um, yeah, it cleans out in a hurry. Go ahead, dump some stuff in. Yeah. Yes. 
see if I can handle this sort of thing. Tyler at Tyson's, did you have a lot of big things like this? I'd say the, the ones that were that big were a little more occasional than this. This stuff going through beautifully. Had any water in it, it would, it would uh, separate on out. Oops, there's some stuff wrapping around the shaft. That's what we were afraid of. Yep. Jump in some more and we'll see what happens. It's feeding somehow. <laughs> Okay, Bill, go hit reverse. On, I'll hit reverse. Hit reverse on the VFD. Let's see what happens if it'll unscrew. Yeah, we want to go back the other way. Yeah, you're going backwards just fine. See, we can program the VFD to do this automatically. Go forward for a, a minute and then go backwards six, ten turns. Go forward now, Bill. That works. That works. Auto reversing on a VFD will uh, take care of that problem. All we've gotten is a little mush through the screen. Throw some more stuff in there. Okay. Uh, let this is going through real nicely. Okay, we hit reverse again, Bill. We'll see if the, this unwraps. More weight on it? No, we got plenty. It's uh, it's working fine. It's just we don't have free water to knock out. So it runs backwards. It's three, four, five. Okay, go forward now, Bill. Pretty good. We found some water at the bottom of the barrel. Get a fork clip. Okay. Passing through, we're hardly getting any press liquor out. You see it dripping into the pan. We'll go up just a hair more in here. Not a whole lot. All right, that's good. the meat. A little bit of liquid coming out. Okay, bottom. we're getting a little more water out. There we go. Right, 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 right. It's just that wetter stuff. It's the, the wetter stuff is right. right. Yep. How's that? The screw's cleaned off. Ah, uh, yeah, the screw did clean well, itself off. It's a lot more clean than it oh, was yeah. even after we reversed it. Mm-hmm. I guess it's because we're dumping it in as fast as faster. Well, that's our drum of flushings. Screw has an eighth of an inch clear a screw to screen clearance, quarter inch bars. Wow. Okay, this is the next day, uh, the 4th of January, 2017. I got the same press here, uh, uh, same arrangement. Instead of a normal air cylinder, in fact, this one had an air cylinder one time. Um, 
figures or counterweights. We've uh, done some dumpster diving to get our flushings back. <laughs> and uh, we've added water to them and we'll see what happens. Let's throw in a bucket and see if uh, what happens. Got me. Okay, this is what it's supposed to do. Yeah, put some more weights on. Okay. Yeah, more weights. It's uh, that's good. I don't know if this is what uh, you have, uh, but um, you can separate water. It's still coming out pretty wet here. More weight would probably help. Let's see what happens. It slowed down a little. We're still getting out water. Well. Okay, dope. Probably reversing it, Bill. Let's see what happens. Because it has slowed down. Yeah, we're running backwards. Water will continue to come out of a press when you run it backwards. Six revolutions. Okay, go forward again. We're going we are going forward again. Okay, it resumed feeding down. Something must have wrapped around the shaft. And it's starting to come out again. How much was it when you weighed the what, Bill? What do you mean? The weight. Can you go any higher in hertz? Uh, take it 120 hertz. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we just doubled the speed. Going down. You said a passive feed through the forest. A longer discharge spout, more weights might uh, make it come out a little drier. Anyway, that's what we got. Okay, we're going to try uh, double pressing. We're just taking what we've done. In the meantime, uh, we're running forward. We're getting, uh, we've got, I think, just water left there. That's what and, it felt like. And it's not coming through the screen. Uh, so this additional testing to see is if the screen has blinded. Okay. Okay, yeah, you saw water on the hopper, but uh, it, it's feeding real well. All the thicker stuff feeds well. We're, uh, I had a bit of channeling there. We are getting a lot of water out, and this was the material that had been pressed uh, just moments ago. I should have changed my clothes. Yeah, okay. Okay, dog. Pretty good. Winding up this video, this is a view in the assembly department where we are putting together these uh, various screw presses. Um, and uh, oh, here's a nice little laboratory press experimental. I see a perforated screen on it. And, uh, uh, and we've got some. Uh, Gigantic size presses going 